More dangerous stunts at downtown L.A.'s now infamous graffiti towers. Daredevils are base jumping off the top of the buildings as authorities struggle to keep taggers and other thrill seekers away from the abandoned skyscrapers. City officials say the condo chaos is putting a strain on police patrols. And taxpayers, they're getting hit with the bill. KHLA 5's Mary Beth McDay joins us live in downtown L.A. with more on what's being done to stop the tower. Our turmoil. Hi, MB. Hi there. How are you guys doing tonight, Sharon Court? Yeah, I just want to show you. So down here, you can see there's flashing lights. So let me tell you, there are police stationed on every corner surrounding these abandoned buildings. And they're out here 24-7, just trying to make sure that no one trespasses, gets inside this building, causes further damage to it, and possible harm to themselves. Video of people base jumping off the Oceanwide Plaza Towers in downtown LA are circulating on social media. Just the latest in a string of illegal activities occurring in these vacant graffiti covered buildings overlooking Crypto.com Arena. We do think that unfortunately it has become an iconic location to draw uh, people for nefarious acts. We now have seen uh, a base jump that has occurred off the top of that location. Chief Michael Moore fears something really tragic is going to happen if they can't properly secure these abandoned high-rise buildings. There is a real and present danger to people inside that, that facility of falling to their death or otherwise suffering some type of serious injury or death. So we need to secure it. With the bankrupt Chinese developers not stepping up to the plate to secure their unfinished project, the LAPD has been left to deal with people trespassing, tagging, and now parachuting. They have arrested 18 people and stopped numerous others from entering the properties. We have eight units here and we're doing this around the clock. We're asking people to stay away, stay out. They will be physically be booked if they're found trespassing inside this property. The LAPD has spent some 3,000 man hours guarding the towers, which requires taking resources from other areas in the city. The LA City Council is considering a $3.8 million motion to secure the building with better fencing, security services, and fire safety upgrades, and to clean up all the graffiti. This property has been sitting here for, what, five, six years now. There's no one living in it. It's essentially just rotting to waste. There's, there's nothing going on with it. And city leaders are also looking at ways to send the bills to the developers and also how to pursue possible legal action if needed. For now, reporting live here in downtown L.A., Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. To be continued. And B, thanks so much.